Our chef artists, everybody. How's it going, everyone? My name is Max, and uh, I work at a rock crushing plant. If anyone doesn't know, that's a real business, just crushing rocks. I program machines to take large rocks and turn them into small rocks. Sorry if I lost anyone there. I know I'm moving fast, it's high tech stuff. People usually assume that um, I work at a rock crushing plant to fund my comedy dreams. Uh, the truth is it's actually the opposite. Uh, comedy pays the bills, and rock crushing is, in fact, my passion. I don't even get paid for it, I just want to crush the most rocks ever. Uh, my wife, on the other hand, is a software engineer. She works for a genetic engineering company. So when we meet new people, she says what she does, they're super impressed, and then they turn to me, and they're like, so her husband probably does something equally as intellectually demanding, right? I like to say, I crush rocks, and uh, they usually leave, <laughs> they have somewhere to go quickly. Uh, I am a married rock crusher, uh, I met my wife on Tinder, and I know what you guys are thinking, Max, you met your wife on a pile of wood? No, 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 I'm talking about Tinder the app, you know, swiping. So. Uh, I sent her a message. I was like, hey, I see you're studying chemistry at the time. Uh, I see you're studying chemistry. I work for a chemical company. Because at the time, I hadn't scratched and clawed my way into the glamorous world of rock crushing. <laughs> so I was like, maybe you could teach me a little about chemistry. And I was shocked that that line worked. <laughs> Up until uh, later on, after we were dating for a bit, she showed me the messages other guys were sending her. And, uh, fellas, let me tell you, the bar is pretty fucking low. Um, these, these messages ranged from classics such as hey to wanna fuck. There was one I liked, uh, my favorite was, hey, Miss Poppin, what's poppin? And I was like, I don't know how you resisted that guy. I would have fucked that guy. I don't, I'm not even gay. It's just a great line. Uh, my wife has Asperger's, and in case anyone here is thinking of marrying someone with Asperger's, uh, don't. <laughs> but not for any reasons you might be thinking. Those reasons are all wrong, and frankly, I'm offended you thought of them. My wife and I will have to fight you after the show. Uh, the real reason not to marry someone with Asperger's is you'll lose every single argument. <laughs> Her attention to detail and her logic are frightening. Uh, she kicks my ass in every argument. She'll be like, hey honey, did you book the flights to see my parents? I'll be like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. She's like, well, why didn't I get a confirmation email? They sent it out within six hours. I read it in the terms and conditions. <laughs> and uh, folks, I don't read the terms and conditions if you can't tell. Um, I don't know what a terms and conditions guy looks like. I imagine a monocle, bow tie, and drives a smart car. So, I'm outmatched in this argument. My response is usually like, huh, well, uh, huh, well, uh, huh, well, uh, did you check the servers up? And she's like, yes, I pinged the server and I got four packets back. I know the server's running. So, my reply is usually like, da. <laughs> well, I guess I forgot to book those flights, honey. Uh, guess I got crushed again. Kind of like a large rock getting crushed into a smaller rock. Um, recently, I was at the rock crushing plant from before. And, uh, I saw there was a sign, there was a dumpster outside, and it had a sign on it that read, Caution, do not play in the dumpster. Uh, and it got me thinking, the kind of guy who would play in a dumpster, and the kind of guy who would read a caution sign, are worlds apart. <laughs> like, whoever put 
that sign up did not know their audience. <laughs> These are dumpster players. Um, that's a small Venn diagram of a person in the middle who does both of those things. But I like to imagine he's out there somewhere, just walking down the street like, Whoa! <laughs> uh, honey, cancel our weekend plans. <laughs> I just saw the dumpster of my dreams. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go play in that dumpster and nothing is gonna stop me. Except if there is a caution sign. <laughs> because I follow the rules. <laughs> I don't play in a dumpster unless I have the full backing of the law behind me. Before I play in a dumpster, I read all the terms and conditions of said dumpster. Uh, I don't play in an illegal dump. Last time that I played in an illegal dumpster, boy did I get my rocks crushed. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank you.